welcome back to another part of Outlast 2. Anyway, let's play. Alrighty then. I actually forgot uh, where we are in the game now. Where the heretics are. That's where they've got Lynn. Uh, the reason why, old mine. Uh, the reason why I forgot is because. Um, okay, we have to go that way, it seems. It's because about for two or three days straight, I was playing a game called Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, what? What was that? Something damaged me. And that game was pretty good. Um, but it's not sponsored, so... There's a big fat chance we might never finish it. Let me just remember the buttons quickly. Got clean text over here. A dearest Marta, my best beloved, most trusted, my in in uh, intimate compassion since your childhood. I know your faith is imperfect. I know that uh, that old w worm doubt gnaws at your heart and tears washes or wash your cheeks. You think you sin in murder, but hear me, as I as I have told you every way I know how. You would only sin if you stay, if you stayed your hand. If you do not chain a, a, a rabbit, dog, are you not responsible for the children the bitch attacks? Uh, if you do not crush the spider in your infant's crib, are you not responsible for its venomous bite? If you leave a fire unchecked, are you not responsible for every incident burned? Or innocent burned? In every, uh, in every case, sloth would make you a murderer. You would not need, a, uh, need lift a finger and still be a terrible killer in mind of God. Just as every life you do not take that uh, that could even maybe defeat the enemy who would murder and rape the whole wide world is killing is killing by sloth for every enemy is surely rabid and venomous and a hungry inferno hold fast push the knife you need no forgiveness because you do not sin Know that Temple Gate needs you. Know that I love you. That God loves you. Noth. Goodness. That's so much to read, dude. It's okay. The more we read, the better we get at reading. So, like, at the end of the day, we'll be fine. <laughs> Playing Hangman. Wait. This is before I found her hanging. We hear some sort of voice. Obviously, we don't know what we're hearing, though. So, okay, we're playing the hangman game. What the heck is that noise? Okay, I'm not seeing anything here we can use. We have another paper to read. Very generous of you. Why, thank you, I guess. The hangman game. Like Lynn and Jess used to play. The other half of this must be somewhere. Jessica would have left the hangman somewhere. For Lynn to find him. Okay, then. <sighs> Something shiny here? No? It was just tissues, I guess.
Interesting music. Hello. It's me. Oh, okay, we can go this way. Why, thank you for that. Don't see anything shiny anywhere here. Okay, we have the hangman paper. It's a hall to interact. Unforgivable. And the hangman was fully drawn. That's a bad thing, right? This is so scary, man. Should we go this way? Okay, we were here. I think we got one of the parts. Or well, something there. It is jammed. So this is where we fell down. Now it's locked. Holy, what the? What the heck is this? <sighs> Get me out of here. What's happening with the camera, dude? Ah! Holy fuck! <laughs> There's a door open here. We can't lock the door. Here we go. Almost cost us a full battery. What the fuck? I, I was just here. That's one juicy tongue, dude. Are we looking at the bridge, maybe? The mines. This leads to the mines. The others took land. So we're going to the mines. Alrighty then. Oh. 
Sounds like there's zombies here, man. What the heck? Okay, let's do this. It's not that far. This isn't so bad. Flies? I don't know how many of them got in my mouth. Just give them a stop and shit. Trying to lift me up. Trying to lift you up? They lift me up. That's when he realized he fucked up. I think. <laughs> oh, what's that blue thing, dude? That might be the camera. We can drop down already? I thought there might have been a, like a bigger introduction to this thing. Because this thing is actually not a joke. Goodness, man. Camera, please. Camera, please, not right now. Let's fix this thing. Get a new battery in. Not right now, my friend. Maybe some other time. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No one's playing with the log, right? No one would do that, I think. Could be true. This could be a little bit high, I think. Are we fine? We are Gucci. Another paper to read. Welcome to the place of spiritual healing. You are scared. And you, you, you are sick, as you should be. And you are filled with shame, as you should be. You know that you would not be here if not 
for your own sins, but I can make you wonderful and pure again. When all the sickness first erupted and crusted uh, in Temple Gate, Papa Nath, in his wisdom and kindness, recognized it for the spiritual affliction it was. Don't believe those crooked and frig uh, uh, frightened others. If they tell you you're sick, then the uh, syphilis or the gynorrhea or any uh, other outer world lie. This is a sickness of the soul. And only by puring your soul will you find health. Stay tuned. Oh, stay true. <laughs> stay obedient to God and to Papa Nath. And especially to his deacon, Laird. God and his prophets love you. Okay, then. While we were looking there, someone is cramping. And you can see that this guy is not dead. He's actually weaving around. Proving that there's still some sort of life in him. Yes. What the heck? There's definitely zombies here, man. Oh, we can hide here. I'm sorry. Oh, hi there! Get off me, man. Ugh. What the heck is wrong with you? Dude, that looks so juicy. One more time. <laughs> All righty then. That way does not look like a way we should go. At all. Are you gonna grab me? Looks like these guys just need help. They're just crying for help. All of them. They are, like, insanely sick, though. Is he peeing this hole? Yeah, he's peeing in that hole. And I think we need to get through that hole somehow. No, it... Okay, so, the only way I think we should go is that way, where there's like 20 people, is this way. Clean. They're cleaning each other. Another paper to read? 
Because I'm really, really good at reading, right? They we're getting there, I think. <laughs> Chapter 4, 1. Hear the prophet Sullivan say, I feared greatly to hear the voices of the Lord, and denied him in shame and heavy lamentation, ren uh, rending uh, the hair from my chest, even by the roots, so that, so that blood marked my shanks, as the blood uh, marks the passage. <laughs> Yes, that, that passage. Of beast born to toil. Two. And the Lord made known to me in words unspeakable, saying, Despair not. But open yourself even to me as a wife opens her legs uh, to her husband and rejoice in creation. Three. Your shame is... <laughs> Is not your own, saith uh, uh, the Lord, of, uh, or for I am, but sore displeased with your fathers. They're like, how can you read so serious when you're just hearing this in the background all the time? Someone literally trying to clear their throat. Like what the heck, dude? For as you thrive unjustly in the usury and treasure of thy father's toil saith the lord so to do ye unjustly share in the righteousness and shame of thy father's deeds yeah only your blood is your own therefore o son of man saith uh, the lord turn ye unto me and I will turn unto you. Turn ye, oh six, turn ye from your evil ways. Turn ye from your uh, in, uh, unsired uh, rutting. Take not pleasure in women unmarked by their natural blood conv convenient. Conv convenient? And the Lord, but if and multiply as the act was des uh, designed of the Lord. 7. And I am very sore displeased, saith the Lord, and the uh, Gentile, and with the heathen, heathen, and the Pharisee, Pharisees of the gifted nation Zion, who take ease in their affliction, and turn they away from teachings of the prophets. Therefore, saith the Lord, as thine blood is thine own, and your deeds undone, open yourself to me, for the burden of the word of the Lord's is thine. 9. Therefore, as the Lord, uh, uh, Lord God commanded that I open my, uh, mine eyes, I did, and did see. Good news. We're already down another battery, and we literally got nowhere. We literally got nowhere. Is this bitch still here? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not done vomiting yet. Now you opened here for us. We have another document to read. A big one. Another big one. Chapter 9. 1. And the hand of the Lord took me by the roots of the innards and put a hook in my jaw. 
and lifted me away from the bones of the dead Zion and the shit of a publican swine. Two, and the murk of the outer dark, I became as a cloud that covers the land and saw many things. Three, I turned my mind upon the desolate pasts where the history of the Lord should have been writ. Four, I turned my mind upon the coiled and igumineous igumineous now uh, of a great prophet beaten and spat upon as a monger cur mongered cur there you go no idea what that word means five and finally god turned my mind to the future of the dark and wonderful burden of the blade at the throat of an architect or to our antichrist child there we go uh, of my children drunk on the blood of those who would poison the world of the lord six and i flew the ravens 400 miles west across the land of the Hava Hava Supai, who recorded noah's blood uh, noah's flood of the work of Okomota. Uh, Okomota. There we go, I think. Seven. And beyond the Hokomotas would that rent of the fi failed Zion. God set me upon a very high mountain. Eight. Then the Lord said, Cover your uncircumcised eye, and uh, that you may truly see. Nine. I placed my hand over my immaculate eye and the Lord spilled such vision into uh, my split and bleeding orb as as man issuing seed into a, a split a split sex split, split sex of a blossomed woman 10 uh, then, then said he unto me, here is your temple, and here is your gate. 11. And the dimensions, materials, and labor of temple gate was made known to me. 12. And the hands of those who would build temple gate were made known to me. And, uh, and their faces and their hearts. 13. Their hearts were filled with fear, and their hands wouldn't be willing, and their eyes would see the glory of his kingdom come. Dude. How do we get out of here? It must be this way. We just have to reload. Look what the cat draw, uh, uh, brought in. I could not read that because I'm being chased, I think. Okay then. I'm sorry. Oh, he's coming after me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Baby, don't hurt me.
Ah! Ow! Why are you hitting me? What the heck, dude? He's like, no, 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 that's my hiding spot. My goodness, dude. You think it will be discovered here? There he is. What is this music? Maybe you should get past them like this. Alright, we're dead, dude. Okay, we found a path. <laughs> Hello, sir. We're chasing the kid, where is she? Hello, it's a me. Hey, we can play some Doom, dude. I took Miss Gray out for the press, uh, pressed today. I had to have a little talk uh, with her f uh, father, Lemerenth, or whatever, how to pronounce that, was telling me that he was worried and she uh, she's a touch more sensitive than what is good for her. And I don't doubt it, poor girl. I know you've dealt uh, with her dad and his big personality. And her mother was a real tragedy. God rest her soul. But anyway, FR, I don't know how to pronounce that, Lautern Milch says that he thinks he might not be good, a, a good idea for Jessica uh, to be good in the field trip. To go, uh, to go on the field trip. Uh, to the piano factory. And I tend to agree. She seems like a decent risk of a runaway. On top of which, her, f her father's signature on their uh, permission slip is a little embarrassing in what 
an obvious forgery it is. So, I'll need your say-so to suspend permission. We'll put her on library study for that day. Shelley, Shelley Param, guidance counselor, and professional nipple twister. I guess that's all we get here. Hello. It's me. What the fuck? Why was why was that half recorded, and then it just stopped? Don't go. Is the uh, what could it be? Strangle? coming I don't want them to come after me please whoever that is Yet. He ain't been born. First, we gotta get him on that cross. Get my hammer and nails. Let's get on up that hill. He will come on the locust wings. Immaculate is newborn. He will give us his gospel. The sacred words of his teaching. Nailed to a cross and die, and he will be buried. But he will rise again in more perfect flesh. We will eat of that flesh in holy communion and be healed of our physical sins. And we shall inherit this broken earth. See, we prepared everything. It's all ready for you. What? Don't do this! Please! Where is your gospel? You're supposed to have a gospel for us. To guide us. Salvation after the end. The gospel? The truth. The guidance. We suffered a long time waiting on you. Well... Oh, Nick, I guess we better put those nails in. Wait, wait, wait!
Savage. Hand me that. Is that a camera? A record? Of course. How could I not see it? A modern Christ would use a camera, not a book. This is our gospel. How could I not have known? Please forgive me for doubting you. There is no suffering that I do not deserve. I am a poor festering moon. I must study his lessons. Drive the other nail in and hang him. No! 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 Dude, what the heck? We're crucified. This is absolutely ridiculous. His hands will never be the same again. You're bleeding. You need to find bandages. We have... We have no bandages, no batteries, no camera. There's so much, so much of the bandage still left. Hello, baby. More bandages here. It's mine now. Did that, did that swing kill you? God. Did you see how slow he swung, dude? Okay. Gotta stop bleeding. Gotta... We'll just go through this again, but I don't think we can get closer there. That is where we escape, by the way. I'm 100% sure. Okay, maybe not 100%. This is where we escape. So we escape right here, by the red. Oh, 
Well, that was fun. The guy could have just damaged me and we could have like, you know, had a good time laughing about it, but no. The game is like, you had to die there, dude, by this small swing that barely did any damage. Here we have some bandages. I don't know if they saw me. We might have to wait for this guy to turn around completely. If we want to avoid. We might be able to go into the water. It's like right there. It's like he knows exactly where I'm gonna go. How about I don't move? Is he gonna stand in front there the whole time, dude? I think he is. You kind of like have to spot us or something. You're supposed to die. Was this it? I could have just gone in here. Dude, is that... What is this? Like, seriously, what is this? That's a battery right there. Okay, I don't know if we're moving forward or going back to where we were. Oh, here we go. We see blood. Blood is normally a good indication that we are going the right direction. Not always, but... I'm kidding, always. Here we go up here. Okay, look for blood. I don't see blood. Why don't I see any blood?
goodness. Come on, man, I need to breathe. Nice. Well, we'll carry it. We're full on bandages. Goddamn vultures. How many corpses did you pick over? Look at where we are again. Coming back earlier. What the fuck? Chill, bro. We have children in the building. I think. Somewhere. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess we'll just follow that fatty. Hangman. Staff? No. The children. What is that first word? S F F. Suffer? Could be suffer. What the heck? Like our ceiling is starting to leak or something. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, dude, I remember this. Our phone has to ring now. It's because I'm hearing, like, somewhat a phone ringing. Where is this phone? Phone? Holy shit. Oh my goodness, it's fast. I got chills, and they're multiplying. Do we read this? Don't let me go, I guess. Are we going back to the phone to answer it? I mean, sure, what's... What's the worst that could happen, dude? Hello? Hello? Oh, thank God you're alive. I need you to stay calm. We're going to get you help. We'll get you out of there. I want you to find a place to hide. Some place safe, where you can remember the taste of her kiss when you felt her neck break, you diseased cocksucker. Yummy. <sighs> Yummy, dude.
Okay, we're getting out of here apparently, but this way. Oh, hi there. Chasing me again. He's coming! <laughs> and we're back to reality, baby. Sup? <laughs> uh, set us free. Goodness, dude. Okay, let's hope we can do it. Because this part, I think I died like five, six, seven, eight times. Oh, there's an exit here? I never knew that there's a different direction that you could go. I kept running trying to get past him, the killer. I hear you, bro. But I don't see anything. There we go. I see him. It's coming this way now. Only we had a sniper rifle. <laughs> right? It's like right here somewhere. Dude, he's right here. 
Just chill for a second. Yeah, this didn't help us. Can this music stop for a minute? Come on. Come on, make it! Oh, dude! He was right in front of us! What the heck? <laughs> oh my goodness. We just like looked at each other for like two seconds. Right? <laughs> looked at each other for like two seconds before you did anything. No moves. Are we walking across here? I think we do. But we'll do that in the very next episode, guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you want to support it a tiny tad more, make sure to subscribe. And leave a like if you did enjoy it. That It does help a lot. Anyway, check out our recent video if you are interested in what we're working on right now. Or the playlist if you want to, if you want to watch this full game from start to end. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!